Hi friends. This is Ricky from Vacant Wallet. In this video we will learn about removing thermal paste and applying new one. To start, flip over your laptop and unscrew these 5 screws of the back panel. Do not forget to remove the battery like me. In my case, I have Lenovo G570 laptop with Intel Core i5 processor with embedded AMD Radeon 6300M series graphic card. Now take out the fan by loosening 3 screws. Gently take out, the fan connector to the motherboard and take out the fan. To take out the heat sinker, we have to loosen 5 screws. 4 bigger ones and 1 smaller one. It will take the heat sinker off the main and the graphics processor. You have to loosen the screws in a series of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. The numbering is done near the screws. Take out the LED cable very carefully without damaging. Loosen the fifth screw as shown here. Take out the heat sinker carefully. Now, take a cloth dipped in isopropyl alcohol. You can also use tissue paper or coffee paper. As I am low on budget and also I have not yet received any earnings from YouTube so I am going with a cotton cloth to wipe off the old thermal paste. Firstly rub the alcohol dipped cloth on the bottom of the heat sinker on both the places where it has impression of the thermal paste or thermal paste itself. Keep the heat sinker aside. Now, comes the time to take the old thermal paste off the processors. Gently rub the cloth on the surface of the processor only where thermal paste was applied previously. Do not play with rest of the surface as alcohol may damage it. Isopropyl alcohol is recommended because it wipes off the stuffs like thermal paste more efficiently and also evaporates quickly. I needed to apply thermal paste because I was having a blue screen of death on my PC no matter which Windows OS I run. At the end, the result is a blue screen of death. I knew that it was a problem related to graphics. So I tried every possible way to take me out of this problem. And finally I got the solution. Though that solution has no concern with this video. But while hunting for the solution of blue screen of death I also thought that there might be some issue with my graphic card. So I went deep into my laptop and inspected the graphic card of which this video is a part. The problem was solved by some other tweak but I thought that I should share this video with you so that you would know that how to remove and apply thermal paste. This blue screen of death is also one of the reason I was not on YouTube for a long time.
Now, it's the time to roll. I have brought this thermal paste from a local PC shop at 30 rupees only, which is around 50 cents. Though it is available online at higher prices. So you can go for other options if you like. I'm gonna give you a link in the description to buy the best thermal paste online. But in my case, as I told you. Budget issues. Simply mix the paste once again to make it even. Now take a pea-sized amount and apply it on both the processors. Keep in mind that it should not be applied on circuitry and it has chemicals which can damage the circuits. So just follow me. Spread the paste on the surface or if you like, just have a small pea-sized paste on the center, and when the heat sinker will come over it, the paste will spread evenly on the surface with the tightened heat sinker. Now clean the surface surrounding the thermal paste with the help of a dry cotton cloth to remove the excess thermal paste, if any. You can also use tissue paper or coffee paper as I told earlier. It's the time to do vice versa. Gently place the heat sinker over the chips. Plug in the LED cable. Tighten the heat sinker screws in the series of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Put in the fan by plugging it in its desired connector and tightening the three screws. Take the back panel of the laptop. Fix it up and tighten the 5 screws. Now let's start the windows. Bingo! Laptop is safe. And I have created this video in this laptop after repairing it. If this video was helpful to you and if you learned anything good from it, then do like and subscribe. If any issues or suggestions, drop us a comment in comment section. Our team will try to reply that. This is Ricky from Vacant Wallet signing off.